Fauzu billahi min şeytanir recim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Atiyullah, atiyur Rasul, ulil amri minkum. And always a reminder for myself, ana abdukul ajisu daifu miskinu zalimu jahal. And but for the grace of Allah that are still in existence. Alhamdulillah Allah granted for us to enter into the holy month of Jumad al-Awwal and the reality of the Sultanate and the power of nine on the fifth lunar month opens the reality of forty-five and the forty-fifth name of Allah al-Wasi the all comprehending. And the key for understanding of that name, the 45th name of Sayyidina Muhammad from Dalai al-Khirat is as Shahir, the famous one salam. The 45th Surah of Qur'an, Jahthiya, the crouching and alhamdulillah the hijab of bliss and blessings, Subhana man huwa al-qa'imun la yanam is that glory be to him who's ever existing and the maintainer and who does not sleep. And alhamdulillah that Allah granted from this holy month immense blessings for us that is the wiladat and birth of Sidna Zainab salam on the 5th of Jumad al-Awwal and that Allah from immense lights of Ahlul Bayt <coughs> And the immense realities of the souls and Sidna Zainab salam whom accompanied Imam al Husayn salam for Ashura, for, for Karbala and the events of Karbala and the immensity of the character in which to withstand so much difficulty in her personal life and to persevere and to be a symbol of Islam and the strength of Islam. That with all the calamities of Ashura, Sitna Zainab is a reminder and a witness of what took place in those events. A great orator and, and speaker and teacher whom taught of the oppression and kept the reminder and the realities of what had transpired on Ashura and keep the memory of Imam al Husayn is immense, an immense example in Islam of the power of a woman and the importance of women in Islam and a significant pole in the reality of Islam, one of the, the great poles that keep… As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh, this is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. the foundation of the deen and the symbol and the symbol of purity, the symbol of struggling, the symbol of love that the Ahlul Bayt and the Holy Companions they, they represent those whom they love and love Sayyidina Muhammad and that they patiently persevere. And as a result of their patience and perseverance and the extent in which Allah tests their holy souls, they become the pillars of this foundation. They pave the way for us to take this religion and a religion that has been safeguarded because of their events, because of their struggling, because of the strength in which Allah has given to their holy soul. They become the safeguards of religion that the deen that we have today is because of the immense faith of those whom came before us. Like the Siratul Mustaqeem, they kept that Siratul Mustaqeem straight, they kept that bridge to eternity straight, they kept the bridge to eternity paved and clear for us 
that to follow. That there are, there are those souls in which Allah built them like a bridge, that their fortitude and strength that not everybody can achieve. But by loving them you're able to move through and by means of them towards your destiny. And this is a, a great soul that Allah has created and a great example of immense love for Allah love for Prophet love for the, the way of truth. We pray that Allah dress us this holy weekend with the immensity of these lights and the immensity of this love and the correctness in character that uh, many have, have come by reading her story and the events of how much she struggled for Islam. Many came to, to a strong belief as a result of that. The choices that many make today of, should I cover, should I not cover, should I follow this religion, should I not follow this? All of these things that we, we make of a, a decision from circumstances that we're seeing around us, they laid the foundation by immense grief, immense suffering. Means that one whom, who kept her way and kept her dignity and witnessed horrific calamities that when they captured them their only interest was to devail, devile or, or take away their dignity and their honour, try to rip the hijab from her and all of these different strugglings and, and difficulties. And how much what we have today when we take of ease how much they suffered to achieve that reality. And we conveniently say, we'll do it, we won't do it, maybe, maybe it's not that important. And our predecessors who came they fought life and death for that right, that they, they struggled through horrific events and they didn't have a choice they take something off or not, it was been taken off by force to humiliate and to, to bring down the light of Allah's deen and Islam and all of its realities. And they're a reminder for us, especially those whom accompanied and were involved in the events of Karbala are, are, are pillars of our belief that they remind for us that the religion you have today don't take it lightly. What, what you follow and the sunnah that you follow, the practices that you follow don't take them lightly. That many suffered because of those, many suffered to keep their way, many died with their blood, sweat and tears to uphold the way of Islam so that we would have what we have today. Had they not struggled and closed and collapsed we would have had nothing today of Islam and its realities and its haqqaiqs. That Allah created these immense souls that would persevere and continue so that that light would come to us with all of its beauty and all of its magnificence. We pray that Allah dress us from these nights, bless us from these nights and just to bring water and any goodness and any good deed that we do on these nights. We pray that Allah dress us from the shivery, the faith and strength of Sitna Zainab That if, if Allah give us they say, don't ask for a drop because Allah is generous but if Allah dress us from their oceans and that their nazar be upon us, upon our families and our children and our communities. That the strength that you have and the things that you witness to dress us, to bless us. From any difficulty in front of us to take away that difficulty and grant us an ease to put a, a bone within our back of strength so that we don't buckle for anyone and that we keep the way of Islam, keep the way of what Allah asks of us and keep the way of Sayyidina Muhammad Jathya is that when nations will be brought down, the arrogant people who come against Allah 
on the Zawajah's promises they'll be brought down. And I'll bring them to their knees. And we pray that Allah keep us to be upright and pious through all difficulties and to bow for no man and for nothing other than Allah And that Allah give His Izzah and Might to us and to bring all oppressors down, bring them to their knees, Ya Rabbi, bring oppression down and grant us your nazar, grant us your, your ishq and muhabbat, grant us the love of Ahlul Bayt. And that to grant us firmness for ourselves, for our families and our communities by means of these holy nights, Ya Rabbi, let their madad and support to dress us, let their blessings to be around us. And your promise from Holy Qur'an, Ya Surqullahu Nasran Aziza Ya Rabbi, Ya Surqullahu Nasran Aziza. Ya Rabbi grant us to be firm in our faith through these days of difficulty and by our ishq and our love for the Ahlul Bayt and holy companions Ya Rabbi by means of that love to grant us a najat and salvation, that your ridha and satisfaction to be upon us, our rizq to come to us, our health to be granted to us, oppression to be kept away from us, those whom are sick to be healed Ya Rabbi, those whom are passing to pass with an ease into your Divinely Presence. Ya Rabbi grant us your support and your love for the sake of Sayyidina Muhammad for the sake of his Ahlul Bayt and the love that he has for his family and for the sake of the holy companions whom have immense love for Ahlul Bayt and love for Sayyidina Muhammad Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. As alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago. As alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.